Well, what led me to become a doctor, my father was in the medical corps in World War II. And I can remember when I was 12, he um, went up to the attic one day and he got all of his medical books and he was going to throw those away. And I said to him, could I have those? And he said, of course. So I read those and I thought to myself, this is what I want to do. I've been in this business for 30 years and th it's like, it's as if you said to yourself, I can't believe some of the progress that's been made. Number one, we all knew that chemotherapy has to be given, but it is, it is a very hard thing to ask patients to take those kinds of drugs. So you're always looking for that bullet, for that special way to treat that cancer. And what they're doing now is finding the targeted agents. Now we're getting to the point where we can say to a, pa a patient, you know what, we've got, um, and I have, I'm going to make the analogy like the military, um, don't throw in a bomb, pick a sniper. Okay, get a sniper and let's go after the one target that we want to hit and let's go after him. And then you won't lose your hair, you won't feel badly, we won't have a lot of that collateral damage. So we're doing that a lot. Clinical trials are the most important thing at this point in time. Patients will say to me, well how do you know how to treat me? How do you know how many, how many cycles to give? I go, somebody had to do that before you. Somebody had to get on a trial that tested to see which drugs would be the best for this and for how long you had to take it. You always get the standard of care. Clinical trial means you get at least the standard of care and you may get better than the standard of care because they want to try a new drug. And we're trying to figure out which of those would be best because the people who are going to follow you five years from now are going to use that to say, we don't need that. This was the best. Now that's going to help everybody. Somebody asks, what do you first tell a cancer patient when you see them? I don't tell them anything. I ask them. I ask them a lot of questions. What's your goals in life? What's, what, what do you know about this? Where, where are you? Then we'll have a conversation about how I'm going to approach how I tell them. There's a lot of ways to tell people certain things. And you have to feel out how you're going to do that. But first you have to know how they're thinking. And if you can do that, you can always tell them in a, in a way that they can understand and not be afraid of. But first you ask, don't tell.